And we're going to try to get her when she goes for her last hit on minion. That way she can't auto us to get the passive proc. So it looks like she lead off with W. So with W lead... Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I didn't get the auto because she wasn't attacking a minion at the moment. Uh, but we still got spin damage. She does have W, so we're going to try to have our spin up for her next W. Like this. Quick spin auto. Um, don't want to take too big of a trade here. It's going to hit her into the minion just because she's trying to contest. And I'm going to hit for a little too. Now, because I know she has W, it's going to make sure that... You see how I kind of like pretended like I was going to go back and then I walked back in? Super important I did that. So she used her second Q into the minion, so I went ahead and uh, spun out on her. Ah, oh, a little bit of misplay there. Let me put a ward below me, just so I can see if Rengar's coming up. If Rengar does come up, that's fine. His gank potential isn't the best. Now, what I can actually do for here, I didn't get the full wave into turret. And this can sometimes happen, right? Ideally, you want to get those those waves in a turret that way you can have uh like the wave pushing back towards you uh but with camille having uh a in her kit with her w like if she goes for a w on us that's actually fine because then she's hitting the whole wave and then we're gonna go and you see right here waves pushing back against us we actually have a cs lead we've gotten some decent trades into her and we have a lot more sustain just because we can just spam our q her only healing is coming from when she hits us with the uh, the latter part of her W. Alright. Ah, she got a trade in us. That's totally fine, though. So, she has no E right now. Nice. Because she has no E, I just went straight in. And I pinged for Silas to come because I like I know that she just used her E. So I knew that the gank was possible. Whereas like if she saw the E, she could just walk away, E this wall, right? She has Ignite, but I think I beat her. Oh. The uh, Ringer is though. Damn, my ward just expired. So I actually didn't see that Ringer was uh, still there. Damn. I got a ward here. Gonna wait for my spin. My wave's in a little bit of a bad spot, so even though, like, I could take it back here, I really don't want to. I want to soak experience. I want to get the Camille to shove back in. Even just that is, like, good work into it. Okay. Wave should be shoving back into me now. Look at the amount of minions. Oh, she has a ward there? I don't know when she put that, but... This is fine. Camille doesn't have the best shoving potential. And this is a cannon wave, so we actually gotta take it back here. And remember, she, she doesn't have boots. I She probably took uh, Magical Footwear in the Inspiration Tree. And she doesn't have uh, Flash, because um, she has Ignite, right? Like, she took TP Ignite. So we can actually abuse that against her. And potentially get an all-in as soon as we get her Ghost back up. Now, she does get a huge dash with her E to potentially escape, but with Ghost and Zerkers, even if she gets the full dash away, uh, we can still chase her down and kill her. Ideally, like, we don't want to let her back here. If possible. The fact that she's still staying here is good for us. So I'm actually going to hold the wave up.
And I knew that's the path hit six there. Wow, the Janna is here? What the heck? Okay, Janna with the top roam, I was not expecting that. Uh, that's pretty good, to be honest. Like, really good time to come up with pressure. Like, right as I was going for the all on Camille. It looks like my bot lane is winning super hard, which is why the Janna's up there. She's trying to, like, turn the game, right? She's just trying to roam. But yeah, usually, like, a, a six-minute Janna roam is some, not something you should expect. Hey, Nick Panda, how you doing, dude? Hey, morning, E97S. Thanks for Twitch Prime. The Janna Flash? Yeah, I could ping it. Boom. There you go. Ow. I didn't get the cannon. Feels bad. Do a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay. Like, she had no cooldowns, right? And then she walked back up into me. Even though I'm level 6, she's level 7. Trinmer naturally has a lot more stats than Camille. And if you notice, Camille went to Sheen. Uh, Sheen's a really good item on Camille. But if you notice, item itself doesn't actually have any stats. You just get the empowered autos, right? Um, can I just... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, maybe I could just walk away, but the ringer is out there as well. Rip. I was going to get a plate and then push up. Okay. Let's see, the Rengar's pretty strong. Their bot lane's super weak, and uh, I'm pretty strong versus Camille. Sucks I used Ghost there. I was a waste. I was already dead. I ghosted as I was, like, spinning over the wall to get away from the Shivana. And, uh, Rengar's have to be there. Um... Wade's going to be in a pretty good spot here. Because what I can do is I can walk up and freeze the wave. If Camille goes into me, I just beat her. Even with all these minions. Like, it doesn't matter. Oh, Janna's top again. No. Fortunately, I have my Silas close by. I saw him walking up river. So, like, I knew that I had the backup too. I'm just glad this isn't a purely, like, 1v2 lane. Silas just made a couple pretty good ganks. So, something with the Rift Herald that you can do is this Rift Herald, like, that auto, you see that swing, it can be dodged. Some people just sit there and tank it, but you don't have to. You can just avoid the damage, right? Hey, Chef Pranks, how you doing? I don't have ult here. Wow. That auto range. All in trades work really well for me. Although, she got a pretty good trade there, so I'm just gonna back off. Instead of backing, I helped the Silas with Rift Herald and delayed my back a little bit. But, because Camille... Like, again, like, Camille's weakness is the fact that she has um, very little wave clear. Now, I'm going with the all-in setup going into uh, Kraken Slayer first. If you want to, in this matchup, you could absolutely go Ravenous Hydra first. And if you go Ravenous Hydra first, you're just, like, so insanely strong, especially with the stacking effect. And uh, the lifesteal that help you sustain through short trades... Um, more so what I'm going for is, like, more all-in build. I'm probably going to be building Ravenous Hydra second. Hey, uh, Trimmer's Wave Flare, even without Tina, is actually pretty good. My dog is going crazy this morning. Down, George, down. An enemy has been slain. You got a $1,000 heat bill yesterday? What the heck? You got a big house? <clears throat> As you wish. 
I think the Atlantis. All right. Oh, I didn't get the W slow. I can still kill her. Remember, I have Ghost. So I use my Q right at the end. Let's hope that Rengar is in top this time around. I really want to shove this in because I get Kraken's hair gold off it. I have Flash. Don't she get away from Rengar if he comes up with ulti? Um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, now Rengar's bottom. Camille's no TP. She used it last time. Hey, welcome to stream, Void. I'm glad you like my YouTube channel. I'm gonna shove this next wave in. It should be good. Oh. Be a little, uh, actually, don't really have to be careful, do I? She has no ignite. An enemy has been slain. An enemy is yeah, she has no ignite, enemy so I don't really have to be careful there. Oh no! You know that run guard's nine to zero and only a two hundred gold bounty. Our team was super far ahead overall. Okay. I'm gonna get double long sword building in towards my ravenous side there. And head back top. So we've got a little bit of a CS lead. We do have a little bit larger, but two times when he got the kill, kill in Camille, we got uh, killed by Janna and killed by Rengar slash Shivana. So we didn't end up building as much of a CS lead. Oh, Miss Cannon. Rip. I think Thresh just killed her. Yeah, she's dead. A lot of Camilles have stopped taking um, the TP Ignite, specifically against Trinomir. Oh, yeah, I could have given him his support item. These Krugs don't mean as much anymore in, in uh, CM13, so don't go kill yourself for Krugs. Okay. Should be getting a shutdown here on Rengard. Come on. Okay. Well, Kingel's dead. I don't know what possessed her to go in, but we'll take it. Mm. I don't have ghosts chase down Caitlyn here. So the reason I didn't W slow the Rengar when he ulted away at first is because Rengar had empowered W, or he had his empowered ability ready, right? And if I W slow, he's just going to use empowered W and get rid of the instant. So I would have needed him to burn it before I W. Do I feel like Trinimer mid is better in top? Because you get less tanky matchups and you can impact them out? I mean, Trinimer is like a split push champion, man. Like, your your impact on the map is going to be through split push, whether you play mid or top lane. Um, only nice thing about mid is... Uh, you get a chance for potentially like an early like roam and early dive um but there are a lot less matchups that you can like super snowball on 1v1 so there's a trade-off right so going towards ravenous let me get this and this so got a little bit of lifesteal i got my team at uh to help shove the ravenous hydra the reason we start going to this this season whereas we didn't before it's because Ravenous Hydra gives so much attack damage that it's actually worth. Um. Okay. Well, we got the shutdown on Rengar. He's going to get shove up, man. 
that Rengar actually didn't deal a whole lot of damage, surprisingly now. I guess he's going more of like a bruiser build, which is why he hasn't died yet. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, good the Rengar is huge there. So your heat build was super high because your radiator was broken? Damn, that sucks. Trinmere is like actually one of the best champs out there, man. For like the fun part. Oh, uh, well, got a ghost. Pretty close to my Hydra. Um, let me see if Wolves are up. <laughs> I was actually able to get away like that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I just spun over the wall, went straight to there. Like, if that wasn't there, I would have died, right? Because I would have spun down, he would have caught me. He would have been able to jump. Okay. I'm gonna go grab Hydra. I'm gonna grab Hydra, cover top. Almost Boop, one boo, year soup. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Or, sorry, thanks for the Tier 1 sub for 11 months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate this support, man. An enemy has been I know you told me how to pronounce your name multiple times, but I always, like, each month I always forget. <laughs> one, one day. Remember. <laughs> we just gotta, like, practice together. <laughs> She has like, uh, you know, I don't have enough points in my W right now. But yeah, George Backseat Gaming, true. Someone ban him from chat. Backseat Gaming. Ow. Okay. Well, my plan, if Rengar came up, let's just spin down. But then the Shivana was there. Uh, let's go towards PD. Yeah, I'll probably just take George out of this one. Yeah, I mean, she hit me with, uh, like, a full, like, EQ, right? That's damage. Yeah, she didn't proc PK there. Once we get our Phantom Dancer, chasing them the Camille will be like super easy, just because we'll get the extra movement speed from PD. Um, on top of that, though, uh, getting the Phantom Dancer oh, give us extra crit. Just dead. Man, she keeps like straight fighting me. I can heal so much off this. Oh, that Omni Pamp on the wave, so satisfying. Yeah, if we, like even probably with zeal, we'll probably kill her without having to um, do much. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Void. If you're bronze four. And you're playing GP mid, that's probably one of the like mechanically hardest um champions and roles to play that champion in the game. I would uh I would refrain from playing him 
until you learn the other parts of the game while playing a simpler champion first.